let's see what you can do with the rows. So you'll notice that when you have put in rows, at the top here we've got a little drop down arrow. Again, very similar to values, each of these is independent. So if we click here, we get a whole bunch of options which we'll cover just now. And if we click here, same options, but now they apply to this particular um, set of information. So if I look here, you'll see we've got some sort options. We've got label filters, value filters. And down here we can actually choose what we want to see. So for example, if we only want to see January, we can switch off February and March. When I click, we only see January. Or I could put on only January and March. Can show all. What you can do as well is you can start typing here and as you type it will show any items that match what you've typed so far. So in this case you'll see you get to just January and when I say OK it will only show me January. If I want to remove the filter you'll see I can either go clear filter from the month or I can go back to select all and you'll see we say select all. Just working away up as well, you'll see that if you want to choose items, you can also use label filters. So notice then, I can actually tell it to look through all those labels and look for something that equals whatever you want. So in this case, I can type January and it does the same thing. Just looking through the other ones, does not equal, begins with, does not begin with, ends with, does not end with, contains, etc. So there's a whole bunch of things you can do here, between, not between, so that you can search and find the items that you want out of the pivot table. In the same way, there's value filters. So you'll see you've got the ability to do equals, does not equal to, greater than, etc., between, not between, etc. The one that's quite interesting is this one here called top 10. What this allows me to do is to specify how many items I want to see. So in this case, we're sitting in here. Let's say I only want to see the top two months. So you'll see I can specify top or I can do bottom. How many items? So I'm going to just type a two in there. Do I want to base it on items percent or sum? I'm going to leave it on items. And then what do I want to use? Now in this case, we've got two sums of builds here. They happen to be the same, but you can have different ones. So we're going to use the first one. And notice that when I say OK, it will then only show me the top two months. Note that here it shows all the values because at the moment everything we're doing, we're affecting over here. I'm just going to go back and clear the filters. Now let's look at the sort options. And just to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to just go and change this one here to an average. Let's just make a nice number format. Okay, so now we've got averages and sums. For the sort option, you'll notice you can sort A to Z or sort Z to A. When I say A to Z, it goes this way. When I sort Z to A, notice it goes backwards. We can as well do something called more sort options. And what these are, they allow you to do it manually ascending and descending. Manually I'll explain just now. But if we for example do descending and I leave it on month, it's pretty much what we've just done. It looks in this column and then does descending based on what it sees in this column. But what we can do is tell it no, rather look at one of these items in the values, so either the sum or the average and use that. So if I chose it to go by sum of bill, I'm going to be descending, what should happen is February should move to the top because February is the biggest month. So when I say OK, you'll see February has moved to the top because its total is the biggest, then March, then January. If I change it, Go back to more sort options, we're going to say descending, but now we're going to use average of bill. When I say OK, you'll see it's changed based on the averages. So you actually have the ability to control the sort orders. Keep in mind again that these are all independent, so I could come to this one, go to more sort options, and tell this one, for example, to be ascending, 
not based on the words, but perhaps on some of all. When I say OK, you'll see so at destination network level, everything is going upwards, but at month level, it's going downwards. So you have the ability to sort in a number of different ways.